Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at the vertex weight modifier in Blender. So basically, uh, Blender has a couple of modifier that's dealing with vertex weight. So there is edit, there is mix, and proximity. Each one of them um, can be used at different uh, situations depending on what you're doing, but basically it's involving vertex weight, right? So you can kind of mix and I don't know, like edit the vertex weight as you need. But there's something that I want to point out. Um, here I'm using um, Susan Head with a UV and I have this uh, reaction diffusions kind of um, texture pattern that I can actually use so that it's um, actually masking Suzanne uh, mesh. So this is actually um, kind of interesting because you can end up with something like this and you can print it out even though it's a bit pixelated but if you increase the resolutions, you're gonna get quite a nice surface. And when it uh, when it comes to 3D printing and printing something out, you can normally use like a really high res um, mesh. So let's get started from scratch. I'm gonna delete everything and just use uh, maybe I should use box, but yeah, I think I can use box for now. Uh, make sure I generate the UV so we have some kind of UV and, and I will be doing a uh, subdivision and I believe I need to apply it as simple so you can look at it with a wire I'm gonna increase it yeah something like that should be pretty good and then I'm gonna apply it save as vertex weight reaction diffusion and zero zero save and I need some kind of texture so I will be creating a quick texture so reaction diffusion simulation and we can use this one um, this is a JavaScript and you can make some kind of drawing and use the preset actually just the default preset should be fine the color black and white color or actually red and green should be fine for now just for the demo wait until the reaction diffusion is completed and it's uh, now it's balanced we can just save it save image as reaction okay save it close it and back to blender with this guy, I will be using a material and assigning an image texture. So reaction diffusion. Let's look at the material. It's everything is black. We need some kind of light. The hemis hemisphere should be fine. And then I'm gonna turn off the wire. So we have this guy, and we we just want to mask out the the different color. So I'm gonna duplicate it. So this is the one that we will be working on. So like I said, there are a couple of option here. I will be using the mix. For clarity, I will create two vertex group. The first one is all off, and the second one is all on. So with, when dealing with vertex, we know that the value can range from zero to one or more uh, by default it should be all blue which is um, all zero I believe for the other one I will give it a full strength just uh, make a red color oops this is solid so this is all weighted to one and supposedly using the texture we're gonna be able to kind of mask out the weight so keep the weight pane and in this mode I will be using vertex weight mix so all off all on and the weight and here we should be able to select our mask use the you can use anything but I think value or alpha can be kind of handy use the UV mix mode replace or now this is I think I have to try an error 
Let's see if this is working as we like. So we can currently working on all on. Maybe I should be working on all off. See, this is can be kind of tricky. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe mix mode shouldn't be replaced. Let me try something else. Vertex weight edit. So weight paint, vertex group. And UV and value UV map. So this one doesn't work either. Ah, there you go. There's something going on. So either we removing or adding. That's weird. Okay, let me save this real quick and go back to Suzanne example. Here I'm using the mask and subdivision at the bottom but up here we have similar example so all on all off and we are mixing using the difference we can look at it from the weight pane okay that's a bit strange uh, masking yeah this one I'm using masking on and off but the weight is being controlled from here so this is yeah this is working fine Mix set vertex group A. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's save this really quick and go back to our example file. Save as. Save. So we have this guy and go to weight paint. Can't see anything. We need a couple of light. Select our objects. Maybe I need to switch to OpenGL. Oh well, we can see the red. So this should be vertex group A. Still cannot see anything. That's weird. So let me check real quick. So weight pain, all on, all off. Okay, maybe I did something wrong here with the weight. So all off should be blue. There you go. I've been doing something wrong. So all on, all off. And what we are doing here with the modifier is uh, modifying the value. So like I said, it's, uh, it can be a little bit tricky to use let's use a point light trial and error blender modifier once you understand it it's a uh, should be pretty easy okay as long this work so you can kind of mixing the blue and the red together you have a couple of options oh, that's kind of nice this one um, average or multiply or difference difference uh, but basically if you want to do like the masking we need to have like maximum value difference 
So the idea is really just to do the masking. All off, all on. Supposedly this is working. Maybe I need to increase it in a way that's uh, when the vertex group knows that it's one or zero, then it should be good. Well, I guess you get the idea. Could be a little bit more straightforward. Maybe I need to normalize it or something. Can I increase it to two? Oh, I can apparently I can increase the value really really high and really really low. And Uh, should be getting something but anyhow you got the idea we can transfer um, an image texture into vertex weight that's basically the point and then you can do the masking supposedly everything that's red is uh, being masked didn't quite work anyhow this can be really handy uh, let's say you have a pattern or an image and you just want to transfer it into your 3D mesh and then you can do more with it you can maybe just solidify or even uh, it's actually quite easier if you are using spare chalk add-on and just mask the area that's you know with vertex weight within a certain value that's why when it comes to dealing with this kind of component level in uh, modifier is good but modifier sometimes you can't really see what happened so if you go to compositing and use um, something like spare chalk let's grab it let's grab this this object this is like totally i didn't plan this get a vertex group yep and then save this file save as to check the vertex weight vertex group weight get the object, get the out weight, stethoscope supposedly you can see the data this guy is cube 001 no data okay it's looking at the wrong group, I believe. Should be all on. Now you can see which one is zero, which one is uh, one, and there are more values, of course. And based on this uh, weight, we can do some kind of list mask. Uh, we need to turn this data into on and off. So logic functions get the value get the larger than just put 0.5 so we should have mask so we get the um, our object and get the data and viewer draw so that I true that I false and the polygon so yeah we are getting something so 
So we have weight from these objects and we get vertices and polygon and we are do we are doing the masking. Let's check the length first. So that's the number of vertices. It should be correct. I think mask vertices is what we want. So we have we have this mask, we have vertices and polygon data and we're gonna output it oh yeah it's uh, definitely doing something there Paint. We have something. Let's delete that. Let me have a tink. Vertices polygon. Let's check the actual data. Text viewer. Plug in the data and view all the this twenty four thousand data. C zero zero mostly zero. Oh well, I think I must have done something wrong. But uh, you get the idea. You have vertex weight modifier that can edit and mix. Uh, the weight and then supposedly you can monitor it using spare chop and then you can mask it out so yeah sorry about this uh, problem but um, I'll give an example blend that actually works okay thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye